Infernum's final major update, 1.9, is probably one of the biggest updates it's ever gotten, and also marks the end of Infernum development, apart from bug fixing and the like. Being the final update, it also has a great wealth of changes, some you might not even have heard about. So, allow me to summarise most of what this update has to offer, in no particular order. Abyss World Gems completely reworked, including obtainment methods for the chest items. Every single enemy encountered in the Abyss has been reworked, including all mini-bosses, and the addition of some new ones. There is now a custom Infernum-style health bar, showing health in different phases in a more dynamic way. There is now a custom Infernum-style title screen. Music's made by Pinpin, Pin, background made by Ivan and I, and animated by Toasty, and the logo was made by me. Added the Cosmic Monolith, a cool way to view Dog's background effect without fighting him. Hive Mind and Perforators can no longer be cheesed by a low ceiling. Weep. Change the Lost Colosseum portal to work by standing inside it. Unfortunately, it does not transport you to the nether. Skeletron Prime no longer regrows his limbs, and thus no longer has a desperation phase. Added a bunch of extra music tracks and the soul-driven headphones, an item that allows you to listen to them anytime. Sentinels now have presence outside of their fights. Adult Eidolon Worms now an actual boss. <laughs> It is intended to be fought post Yaron and gatekeeps the Terminus. Argus Law has been rewritten to be cooler, and more in line with Calamity's lore items. Added the Illusion is Reverie and the Eye of Madness, two new weapons dropped from Adult Eidolon Worm. Added a whole lot of costume sound effects for many, many bosses. Reworked Queen Slime, she's now bouncy. Empress of Light can no longer be murdered in cold blood while she prepares her moon attack. Ares has transcended past just using simple cannons. He now also has swords. Yarn explodes into several thousand chicken nuggets. Krabilon's claw slam attack can no longer be cheesed by simply standing above him. Defeating the final boss will now play a credit sequence, similar to Vanilla with Moonlord. Reworked Aquatic Scourge. It's now fought underwater and plays around the acid gauge. Changed a few of Stormweaver's attacks. Also, Birdly. Supreme Calamitous's final desperation attack can no longer be cheesed with literally just stairs. It's just a row of stairs. Why is it cheesed with stairs? Yaron's tornadoes no longer look and act like Orange Duke Fishron tornadoes. Reworked Calamitous clone in almost every single aspect, including fight-wise, name, and sprite. She's now called Forgotten Shadow of Calamitous and uses previously scrapped sprites intended for Calamity. Reworked Profane Guardians. Each Guardian now has its own special designated phase. Reworked Provenance. She is now a design around music and syncs up to a song. A few bosses now have special background effects, with some changing dynamically during certain attacks. Some existing ones have also been tweaked. Gave a wealth of bosses special spawn, phase change, and or death animations. Twins are now mostly reworked. The final phases at the very least are completely reworked, but they also have a few different or replaced attacks in their normal cycle. Added the death wish menu attached to the death wishes. These are special achievements related to devs and testers, each with a special reward for completion. Added the Hyperplane Matrix, a hilariously cheaty dev item. Reworked Ceaseless Void. It's now a fight designed around the archives in the dungeon, with camera control. Added the Profaned Crystal Die. A bit obscure of an addition, but I think it looks nice. Added a few structures to the world, for dev wish purposes. Added the suspiciously round feather dev pet, as a reference to the good old days. Queen Bee is a big shot. Added the Secura Blossom dev item, which grows on Secura trees, and can be transformed into a wonderful vanity effect. Added the Blahage pet dev item. Yes, it's real. Added Dreamtastic, the dev rogue weapon which is not a mage weapon. Don't be fooled. Supreme Calamitous's Soul Seekers now play a bigger role in her fight, and cannot be melted as easily, especially by true melee. Added the Rising Warrior's Soul Stone, a dev item obtained by beating Aquatic Scourge in a very specific manner. Very cool. Added credit where credit is due. Don't know what people expected from the changelog, but it probably wasn't this. Calamitous now pays her respects to Brimstone Elemental. Added the Flower of the Ocean, a lovely aquatic-themed visual dev item. Added the Storm Maiden's Retribution, a ridiculously powerful boss rush tier rogue javelin. There is now a custom-made special lighting mode, accessed via config. Added the Nightmare Catcher, a little weird dev pet which hinders you if it gets too close. Added the Purity, a dev accessory locked behind a specific incredibly brutal enraged boss fight. Added the Brimstone Crescent Star, a dev battle tool which will be a lifesaver for those who are struggling with the mod's difficulty. King Slime and other ground dwelling bosses now don't get stuck on platforms and slopes. Hopefully. Added Call Upon the Eggs. It's an egg sword. Implemented a few small but noticeable April Fool's changes. Skullimoji. Changed the way infinite flight buffs are conveyed to the player. They now use the Calamity cooldown rack UI. Buff the damage of Eternity by 8.5 times. No particular reason why, just 
kinda happened. Cherished Sea Locket's shield effect can now be dyed. Visually polished lots of small things across the game. Way too many instances to list, but it'll be easier to mention the bosses that didn't get a visual change of some sort. And last, but not least, the changelog which I'm sure absolutely nobody was able to quiet crack. Added Kevin. The Kinetic Electro Plasma Voltage Infuser. While this video did not cover every single small change in 1.9, I implore you to check it out for yourself and see what exactly is different. Every single boss was given a look over for balance and changes, so there are going to be tiny things that you'll notice across the entire game. That's all from me though. Have fun with 1.9, you goobers.